In the beginning, darkness loomed. The earth was formless and without life. Then, God spoke light into the void. The heavens were arrayed with stars and the sun rose above the shores for the first time. We dwelled in that light and the light dwelled among us. God was that light and in him there was hope. We were known and loved under the warmth of God's goodness. But we were drawn away from that light. We tasted death and an altogether worse darkness dwelled among us. Even though the light still shone brightly, it became dim to us. Cold, alone, and broken, we fell deeper and deeper into our own sin. The darkness was too much to bear. Its weight was heavy like the waves of the sea. The swells billowed and beat against the vessels of our souls, and yet there was one who had the single word that could calm it all. By his wounds we would be healed, and by his blood we would be washed clean. For this is good news, a glorious message, that the Redeemer of mankind would humble himself and live among the darkness. The very word that spoke life and light into existence would be draped in flesh and be swaddled in a manger. A humble child would become a humble king and die a humble death and rise in glory so all may live. Do not fear the darkness, for behold, I bring to you this day good tidings of great joy. God has said, let light shine out of darkness. And so it shines in our hearts to give us the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. In him we are brought near and made whole. We are sealed with his spirit and called children of God. This is good news worth sharing and a call to go forth in boldness, to walk in the light as he is in the light, to be set free from the weight of darkness forever.